Hi, today's story is Shark versus Train by Chris Barton and pictures by Tom Lichtenheld. So it, in Rivendell School, in the library, the library mentors, which are the fifth graders, they have a list of all of their favorite books. And I think five of the library mentors put this book as one of their favorite books. So it must be a good one. Shark versus Train. Ah, shark versus train. And the shark says, I'm going to choo choo you up and spit you out. And the train says, Ha, I'm going to finish you, mackerel breath. Who will win? Well, that depends on if they're in the ocean. And the shark's saying, How's that furnace working for you here? So if they're in the ocean, who do you think would win? Or on railroad tracks. Can we make it two out of three, says the shark? If they're on railroad tracks, who do you think would win? If they're on a seesaw, we <laughs> Or in hot air balloons. Ah! Roasting marshmallows. Direct, says the shark. Eating pies. The train saying, I could go for some coal. Or having a burping contest. Belch. Look at that big burp the train made. <laughs> it depends on whether they're bowling. And the shark says, that counts as a strike, right? And the train says, this is why you guys have a bad reputation. Or shooting baskets, and the shark says, Foul! Or going on the high dive. The shark's doing pretty well on the high dive. Uh oh, it's ripped. We're gonna have to fix this book up. So there's the train. Eek! The train says, and look at that shark. He's doing loop de loops. He's doing pretty, pretty well. <laughs> Running lemonade stands, and the train says, have more, I've got plenty. And the shark says, what do you mean it's a little watery? This book definitely needs a, a little bit of tape on it. Or if they're trick-or-treating, and the shark says, the clown is very hungry. Rides at a carnival. So this is the shark rides. This is the train rides. Looks like the train is. There's a lot more kids that want to take a train ride than a shark ride. It can depend on who gets to pick first. And the shark says, hmm, let me see this one. Who names the game? And the train says, your choice. And who deals the cards? The train says, I believe these cards are marked. And the shark goes, who fish? Or go fish. But who wins if they're playing hide and seek? Hmm. Yeah, I can see the smoke from the train and the fin from the shark. Or trying not to get shushed. Screech! Chugga, 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 chug. But I wasn't doing anything! Shriek! Look at that librarian's going, shriek! Because she sees a shark in the library. Performing in a piano recital or playing extreme zombie squirrel, squirrel motocross. And this one, the shark says, sorry! The sound of the sea always gives me the munchies, and the train says, I guess I didn't hit that note very hard. 
And on this one, the train says, sure would help if we had thumbs. And the shark says, yep. This is hard to do a remote control without thumbs. Exploring long distance galaxies. The train says, we need to find some train tracks. And the shark says, I have a bad feeling about this. Or sword fighting on a tightrope. Whoa. And the shark says, sword fight? I thought we were having sword fish. And the train says, couldn't we do this on a bridge or in a train depot? <laughs> or, okay, this is getting ridiculous, says the shark. Now would be a good time for a break, says the train. See, they both went off this, the train went off this ramp, the shark went off this ramp. Now, that doesn't look like a safe idea for either of them. Boys, lunch! Look, one of the little boys is playing with a toy shark, and one of the little boys is playing with a toy train. So, both boys toss their shark and their train into the toy box, and they run to go get lunch. And while they're lying in the toy box, the shark says, Next time your history, soup spewer. And the train says, next time you're sunk, squid slurper. <laughs> End of the line. That was a funny story. Meet shark and train, it says on the back. <laughs> All right, hope you guys have a great day. Bye.